Yo, what's good to YouTube? It's your boy Kuro back at it again with another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot discussion video. Now, today I wanted to talk about one of the most creative fights, the one of the most freaking phenomenal fights in Dragon Ball Z. Majin Vegeta versus Super Saiyan 2 Goku. I got my I got my homie here to talk about this topic with me. Smokey Sama, say what's up, my guy. It is I, the one and only Smokey Sama here, the land of coming to give you guys some amazing content with my homie Coral. How you guys doing today? With all that being said, y'all, let's get right into today's video. This fight needs to be implemented into Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, Majin Vegeta versus Goku. I think it'll be a good move to implement this fight into the game because honestly, I don't really remember this fight being implemented into any game. It probably was in Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel I like think it was. Yeah, I feel like they should implement it into this one because they'll show them they going into detail and they trying to be more creative and more diverse from all the other Dragon Ball Z games and stuff like that. Do you think they should add this fight into the game? Um, Do, I think they see, do I think they should add it? I think they need to add it. <laughs> like this, them not adding this amazing fight between Goku and Vegeta would make obviously the game incomplete. I mean, how are they going to have the first fight between Vegeta and Goku in the Sand Saga and not have this one in the Buu Saga? Um, it just it just makes everything come together like a sandwich, you know what I mean? You got your bread, you got your meat, your cheese, your lettuce, you know, whatever you like to, you know, stack your sandwich with. Kind of uh, it's the same way of how they complete the game and, you know, stack their game with. So, like, remember, like, CC2 is very, very good at paying attention to detail and following detail research. I mean, they've had everything detail-wise for the Storm series, and there's no reason, no possible way where they can't follow everything in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So I definitely think this battle will happen. I do have a question for you. I right, go for it. Do you think they're going to do it as you play as Goku and you fight Vegeta? <laughs> or do you think they switch it around and you play as Majin Vegeta? <laughs> now, that's a million dollar question. Now, that is. Um, honestly, I'm going to say this. I feel like we're going to play as Majin Vegeta versus Goku. And here's why I'm going to say that now. If I remember correctly, Goku was in um, Otherworld doing whatever he needed to do to attain this Super Saiyan 3 power and whatnot. Well, right. Vegeta, right. on the other hand, was under influence of Bobbity. I just feel like we'll be um, fighting as Vegeta because he was already on Earth. So, so you're saying like because he was under the influence of Bobbity being controlled, um, you're telling me like they'll show cc2 will show his side and like at his point of view of like how it all went down like you know him which i think was the most savage moment um because i was like damn this man vegeta is a savage he's a monster where you remember at there they were at the world tournament yeah and he shot the key blast at the crowd yeah. bro you oh, it was, bro what? it was so yo go it was on then man it was on then yeah. Like he ain't and care about nothing else. Like nah, he, he was like, go, he's like Kakarot. You're gonna fight. Him. <laughs> he wanted to reclaim the title of Prince of All Sands, bro. And this man, this man was ready to just, you know, prove to Goku that he ain't the same anymore. Which we all know what happens. You know, we all know. That. Because that <laughs> Goku just played with them, you know what I'm saying? Which is which is unfortunate because you know, Kara Toriyama always loves to make my man Vegeta go through the most. But uh, what I was saying is like CC2, I think they'll do a good job of like showing Vegeta's point of view in the Buu Saga, especially when he was under the influence of Bobbity. I think they'll do a good job of, you know, showing like his point of view of the fight, how it goes down, obviously, which I think they'll go that way with just Vegeta mm -hmm. fighting Goku. It would be more right, I would say. Yeah. If it was in Vegeta's perspective instead of been in Goku's perspective all the time, because honestly, I can't really remember um, anything happening up to that point in Goku's perspective, mm -hmm. other than trying to train to attain the Super Saiyan 3 power. So I feel like it would make more sense to play as Vegeta in this art. You know what I'm saying? Like like you just said, like it just, again, I'm a, I know I keep reiterating this yeah, in good. my last video. It would just be weird for them not to like show this fight. I completely forgot about this fight too. Cause it's so, it's so golden because it shows the, uh, the tension. You know what I mean? Cause you know, Vegeta's always wanted to prove that he's the best, he's the better Saiyan 
that he that he could overcome and be on top instead of Goku being on top. And you know, Goku has you know always like always been on top and one step ahead of Goku. So um, this was like Vegeta's moment to you know he's got a Zenkai boost, he's got his Majin you know symbol on his forehead. He's obviously gotten stronger, so he he thinks that you know he he's he's overcome Goku, so it's time to throw hands. Um, which obviously is the pride of every sand yeah, of course, between of course. those two. Do you think uh, they will show this fight or like tease it in the full trailer for the Bull Saga? I honestly feel like they will show this particular fight in a Bull Saga trailer to hype fans mm -hmm. up like, oh, they really put this fight in the game. You know what I'm saying? Hype yeah. up the fans and stuff to attract more attraction to the game and stuff like this. So they sales and stuff can go up. It just showed that. It'd definitely be good marketing. Yeah. It just showed that they are trying to be different from all the other Dragon Ball Z games with the creative mm -hmm. character and the online and all. I agree. Like I said, we, we got to see this fight. If this fight's not in the game, it'll kind of be just a tiny bit disappointing. But then again, this is everybody that, that believes there is Sam, like me and you, or full hearted fans for Dragon Ball. This is what every Dragon Ball gamer has always wanted in a game is a legit RPG Dragon Ball Z game. And with that being said, we're gonna close this video out. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Um, do you guys think that this is going to be a fight that you'll get to play as in the game? Do you think that um, you will see Maj uh, Majin Vegeta's point of view in the game? So let me know your opinions in the comment section below. Uh, Core, you have anything to say, my brother? Nothing other than subscribe to the channel and like the video if you haven't already. What y'all doing? We on top of dropping Dragon Ball Z Kakarot content, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot news for you guys. So you don't want to miss an upload. So definitely turn on post notifications and to stay updated with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot content, news, and gameplay. And with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. I love each and every one of you guys. I'll see you guys in the next stream slash video.